February 1st, 2022. Here we are in the storm of the triggers. We have uh, Venus throwing her retro shade until about March. And we've got a new moon coming up here. So uh, we are in the perfect position to look in the mirror at all of our avoidance over the last seven, eight years. And we are really being asked to kind of reconcile ourselves. So I'm working really, uh, kill it, burning the midnight oil, getting this alchemy book done. And um, it started off as, you know, quantum fitness, which was basically designed to make space in the body and deal with all the weight issues, you know, waiting for life to happen, you know, codependency, attachments, pain, trauma, you know, all that stuff that likes to not only live in your life, but inside your body. And we have been kind of chiseling away at our physiques and making space for this more, you know, higher power to be able to embody. And that's really where we are right now with the Ascension is, is working to embody that higher you in the, in the body. So it's not necessarily having to sync up with you six feet out, you know, uh, through messages, songs, and 111 and 222. It's like having the direct relationship with your higher self would mean that it was able to fit in your body. So quantum fitness is basically the science of fitting higher self in the body and that is when your metabolism and vitality really starts to unfold. But in hindsight we are 2022 and I will say you know I've always said it's going to be the catch 22 but I'm going to tell you really what it should be called. It should be called the rude awakening because it's even waking up people who thought they were woke. It's waking up parts of us that we're still in separation because it didn't fit our model. You know, those of us who call, you know, ourselves empath or life workers or sensitives or whatever, introverts, whatever you want to call yourself, is still a label. And, and you're here to be virtually balanced. You are not here to claim one or the other. And I know that that has been a form of protection for those who have felt like their heart was different, you know, those that had innate and intuitive kindness over everything else. And I think that that's the way that, that a lot of us protected ourselves the last, you know, 15, 20 years of kind of having that differential. Okay, I feel safer because I am this introvert. I am, I feel safer and secure because I'm an empath, although it doesn't excuse my anxiety and my fears and my worries and and all of those things because every one of those things is a separation. It means that the part of you that is afraid, the part of you that is anxious, the part of you that is worried, the part of you that is angry, the part of you that you is in judgment is separate, which means asleep. So we are being poked with all of the aspects of ourselves that are still sleeping. Every trigger that you will have probably for the rest of this year will be either two different triggers. And again, here's the paradox of the third dimension. Everything is in separation. You will be triggered by the parts of you that are sleeping, or you will be the part of, parts of you that you have dulled down, which means that you get triggered two different ways, guys. It's not always disempowerment and rejection. A lot of times your you know, volume that you had to turn down to be accepted or allowed to be in your family, relationship, or church, or even your job, is also going to poke at you, which means where have you turned your light down and where have you fallen back to sleep? Those are your two triggers. When you're angry, when you're, you know, worried, when you're afraid, when you feel judged, when you judge others, when you are um, feeling lost, when you're dealing with codependency issues, it comes down to attachment versus connection. And that's what I got up at 2.22 this morning and channeled until about 6 a.m. was all of the different aspects of the attachment versus connection and how it is that attachment that keeps your intuition dulled. When you're attached to someone else's field, someone else's life, someone else's money line, someone else's joys, happiness, 
you are indoctrinated into the mix and blend of the both, which means you are having to take into accord and into focus that which you are not so that you can survive. And really what happens is you get further away from the connection with yourself and out of survival or you know livelihood or love, you find yourself staying in, connect in attachments and that's what's being poked right now. So most of your triggers right now, you guys, that are feeling negative or disempowering are all about where you have attached. You may not know, or someone else has attached to you and you're having that kind of poke that says, this is no longer serving us. And some of you think, well, yeah, how can I stay married if I turn my you know, relationship from an attachment to a connection? Easy. The same way the nine planets work in perfect harmony and yet remain in their or own orbit, in their own universe, in their own system, in their own work, and yet work perfectly together, which means they play off of each other, they build off of each other, they trigger each other, they retrograde each other, they, sp they, they help er each other spin in this perfect harmony that tells the story of us. And therefore, when you're, you're taking my alchemy class this year, which is our master work, we're learning about the nine aspects of us that have been split apart through the separation process here. You know, you've heard me talk about the me, myself, and I, and yes, that's the inner child, that's the ego identity, that's the I am that, that kind of comes down here in separation to learn how to unify. And you're here thinking that you're here to unify with everyone else. No, you're here to connect with everyone else. You're here to unify with you because you are an entire universe. And if you're gonna learn how to build timelines in a world where literally you're spinning in one timeline, one point, in order to create a, a new timeline, you need two points because this is quantum physics. And quantum physics requires two points to build a line. If you wanna build a bridge, if you wanna build a line, if you wanna build your own reality, if you wanna build your version of heaven here in this virtual story of hell, you better learn how to create some timelines, which means you're gonna have two points and that other point cannot be an attachment because you're gonna spin from one point needing someone else to be or have or do or give so that you can be you. And that's where all of our suffering is. So hopefully you guys will check out my master class. If it seems, start with quantum fitness part one um, or start way back in 2018 for warrior training where it talks about that narcissist empath brain of yours that was handed to you through separation, two hands, two eyes, right, two legs. There's a reason why you were split in duality, yet you have one third eye, one pineal gland, one heart, because the, honestly, the secret of you is the unification of I have two eyes to see but one to know. And really having the opportunity for you to make sense of all of this information that you have been digesting over the last forever you've been on this journey and actually put it to work for you because this master class that I'm doing now quantum fitness is the how that was my biggest struggle with spiritual teachings early on is how 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 and that is what I am gifting you guys for 2022 all right so I'll see you in my classroom jessicaalstrom.com check it out